Ladies and gentlemen, hello and greetings from number two St. Mary's Villas in Kilcerne. And um, I'm here to do a virtual viewing of this property with your permission. And um, so I'm going to get started. Um, I'll tell you a little bit first about this area. So Kilcerne is sort of midway between um, Castle Bellingham Village and Dunleer. And it's a small little community. Um, it's quite enough area. It is on main bus routes and very convenient to Dundalk and to Drogheda and also to Dublin. You're probably about 35 minutes, 30 to 35 minutes from Dublin Airport from here. So um, very good in terms of if you're looking for a property, probably a starter home that gives you good um, good access to town, to work or to schools. So uh, let's go ahead and have a look inside. Now this property um, is vacant at the moment. Uh, you'll see a little bit of furniture around the place, but um, we'll, I'll describe to you as we go through. So we're going in through the front door and immediately in to the right is a fairly recently adapted bathroom. So you see now it's a wet room situation. It's almost completely tiled all the way around. It's a very good size. Um, and as I say, it's a wet room. So it has this walk-in shower situation there. Okay, and electric shower. All right back out into the hallway and we're going straight now into the living room. Now, the living room is a very good size. I'm standing into the right of it. Uh, open fire there, the cast iron inset and a wooden mantelpiece fireplace. And coming around to the right then is to the, the door into the kitchen. So I'll just stand on the other side of the room so you can see. It's got pretty good proportions, this room. All right, on into the kitchen. It's a little galley style kitchen. Um, it's, uh, it's quite comprehensive. There's a good balance between uh, storage and workspace. It's a compact space. Uh, you see there, that's an integrated oven and hob extractor there. And then over down at the end, that's a compact dishwasher. Okay, so the kitchen leads on to an extension to the rear of the house. This is a very useful area um, depending what you need. It's really a second reception room, um, but an excellent space if you wanted, for example, a playroom for the kids, or if you wanted a bit of homework space, or if you wanted to make this your living room or your dining room, probably it would make a very good dining room. You'll see there the fridge has been put there and it's a very bright space. So it's currently um, 10 o'clock in the morning so the sun has come up and it's moving around towards the back of the garden now which tells me that it would be quite a bright sunny back garden. So outside this room there's a little lean-to, you see that little lean-to uh, which has created an opportunity for a little bit of uh, utility space there okay and a formal little space but a very useful space nonetheless and that little door there there's just a little bit of storage there. So now I'm going to show you outside so to my left is the boiler house. For those of you who like to get a look at a boiler, there you go. Okay, and of course, bearing in mind, this, this virtual viewing is really just in place of your first viewing. And then um, we can arrange a second viewing um, if that's something that you'd like to do. There's the oil tank. Okay, and then look at this lovely big long back garden. Um, great space there and as I say uh, I would think that you are going to get uh, probably sun all afternoon um, obviously it's a winter's morning so a little bit of a little bit of snow and ice on the ground there so I'm just coming down to the back of the garden and there at the end is a little wooden shed okay and then we're going to come around here and you'll see good long just good long depth on the back garden okay obviously there's the, the house behind me mid terraced um garden fairly low maintenance actually some nice beds along the side and the back but other than that it's in grass so just a matter of maintaining that now we're going to go back inside and i'm going to show you the uh, first floor accommodation you can see there by the way that is the extension that i mentioned to you and if i just come over here you can see it's a flat roof extension okay now and that's just the little informal lean-to that i mentioned to you so now we go back in through this sunroom dining room and 
kitchen and back out to the hallway. Now up the stairs. Nice bright hallway actually. Nice windows, good use of windows there. Upstairs and at the top of the stairs you have bedroom number one. Okay, so it's a single room. It's unfurnished so it's sort of difficult for me to really be able to show you all that much but that's it from another side there okay that's single room on to the next room this is a double room pardon the furniture there and uh, that's a really good size actually and um, there's quite a bit of furniture in here at the moment there's a cute little old fireplace there presumably non-functioning but um that's it there. I just wanted to give you a look here. That's the roof of the flat roof extension that we've just come from. Um, now, it's frosty this morning, but I just wanted to show it to you. It looks to be in very good condition. Can't really see any pooling or anything like that uh, or sagging. So, um, as with any property that you would get in a second-hand house, you'd be getting a survey anyway, but just pointing a few of those little bits and pieces out to you. So that again is that room, so you're seeing it from the other angle now. Good size, okay, double room. You'll see there then at the end, the room, that cupboard space, I'll give you a look in there. That's uh, the hot press, water tank there. It's a modern water tank. Um, and actually some really good storage there, good deep storage there for your hot press. Okay, now I'm gonna go along and show you the third and final bedroom. Now you can see there, double bed. Again, good bit of furniture in here. Um, I'm going to go around to the other side. Yeah, double room and good size. Again, don't be distracted by the furniture because that'll all be gone. Okay, so that's again out of the back garden. You can't really see very well. So, folks, that is the situation. That is number two St. Mary's Villas in Kilsarn. It's... Um, I tell you what it is, it's a very viable starter home or perhaps downsizer if you wanted to get down to something more manageable. Um, it's on a bus route, it's, it's uh, in a nice little neighbourhood and it's, um, it's, 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 it's ready to move into. I mean, you will, anybody who takes this property is going to do some work to it, some decorating and maybe some modifications, but certainly there are no uh, essential works here. And um, of course obviously I'm saying that's subject to a survey which anybody would get carried out so if you would like to arrange a second viewing of this property uh, I'd be delighted to arrange that for you you just need to let us know that you have seen the virtual viewing and um, obviously we are working in compliance with COVID regulations and we can explain those things to you so um, um, I look forward to hearing from you and hearing any questions you have thanks a million all the best